tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how you can create a 3D model, a very basic 3D model, using a custom shape in Photoshop. Now, first thing to do, get rid of that dialogue. Now, just go to the custom shape tool, make some of a shape, and select the shape. Now, these are Italian type designs. You can find them on the Graphic Extras website. And just select one of those, and I'm going to select that one, or maybe that one. Now, just drag that out to shape layer. And what you can do then, you just go to 3D and new 3D extrusion from selected layer. Select that. Now, got the 3D design, you can rotate it, do various other things. But the key thing here is I can export it. I'm actually going to just modify the extrusion depth a little bit there. Okay. 3D and export 3D layer. I'm going to go with default. I'm going to go for OBJ object file and now just select OK. I'm going to go for 3 and it's exported. Now you can do other things. You can flatten this. You can do turn it into a smart object, apply effects and all that sort of stuff. But what I'm going to do now is going to go to Blender. And I mean, Photoshop's pretty reasonable with 3D. I mean, depends really what you want to do. But Blender's another. It's a great lap. There's also Poser, many other ones, 3D Studio Max, etc. Now, File and Import, and I'm just going to quickly go for the object file. Now, there's the file, 3.obj. Now, once you've brought it in, there's a translate, and of course, there's a whole load of different options, time materials, etc. But you can quickly just move that in so I can actually see that not the quickest to scale it click there so you can actually get the resize come up and again you can resize it rotate it and much more anyway I'm not going to go through all the various things you can do in blender it's not really a blender tutorial but uh, there's lots of videos available on YouTube to actually show you how to use objects brought into blender hope you found this of interest thank you much